Hey everyone, big shout out to Yeti over there in the UK. Someone close to him was selling their mining farm and we basically got into a group buy and a bunch of us over in America bought out parts of the farm. I got a few cars myself, one of them being this beautiful Sapphire Nitro 6700 XT triple fan. We are going to go and put this into an Octominer in another video. Today, I want to put this onto the test bench and do an updated check to see if there's any improvement on using this on our mode. This is an absolutely beautiful card. Passion away on Ethereum, A mode on Team Red Miner, no SOC clocks. Right now, we are getting about 105 watts, very stable, from the card itself. If we come up to the screen, we can actually see we are doing 46.5 mega hash, 44 degrees on the core, 66 degrees on the memory. That's it. At a 40% fan. Granted, we've only been running for 3 minutes and 21 seconds, but that's cool. And we're reporting 90 watts in the software, so it's not far off. Now this is, let me switch over. So you can see we are tuned for A mode, A600, 90 to 89 watts on the card itself, 40% fan, 1200 core. We have not done anything with the SOC. That's our next step. So let's go on over. So now, let's do step two. Now that we have a baseline, let's put the SOC clocks in here, which would be SOC frequency. Let me see here. Let me reference. SOC frequency 980 and SOC VDD max 850. So 980, 850. 980, 850. And apply. Now let's give this a minute and see where it goes. So to get the SOC working, I actually had to use my favorite overclock settings, which is for the 6700 XT, core clock at 1150, core voltage at 640, memory controller voltage at 675, memory clock at 1073, memory voltage at 1300. Then we skip down to the SOC frequency 980 and SOC VDD max. 860 with those settings and now it's nice and stable you can see we are getting 46.34 mega hash at 72 software watts still 40 percent fan same temperatures let's look at the pmd this should be the same as my other video within a few watts which it is we are only pulling about 83 to 85 watts perfect and she's whisper quiet so now, let me give credit where credit's due. What we're going to do is enable the R mode, but I also have some overclock settings sent over to me from Red Panda Mining. He should be releasing his video a few days before me because this is his little project, and I'm just giving my own spin off of it. And give me one minute. Let's get those overclocks in and see what R mode is. But before I do that, let me just verify right here. We are still running in A mode, and this time it tuned at A616, and we can see the software at 71 watts. So give me a second. Let me put these R mode settings in. Okay, so we now have R mode enabled. I'll show you in a second. We are still getting 46.3 mega hash, same temperatures, 40% fan. Instead of like 70 watts, it's reporting 69 watts software, and our settings are core clock at a thousand core voltage at 615 everything else is the same basically even the if i switch on over here even your soc frequency and vdd max is still 960 and 860 so let's switch over and we can actually see if i bring the screen on over here a little bit we are running r mode 632 and it's reporting 6970 watts software VDDC is reporting a 606, core at 1000. We're still getting the same hash rate, but we're not really saving any software watts. Let's look at the PMD. 
you can see we are still running. Basically, 82, 83 watts. It, it really hasn't changed at all between A and R mode at all. So that's basically it for this video. Nice, quick, and short. Wanted to show R mode. It doesn't really matter or do any improvement on 6000 series yet. They said they needed more testing on their uh, GitHub itself. Well, here's more testing just to make sure. Granted, it's nice to see the core clock out of 1000, but you're not really saving any power at all. And I also don't use R mode only for the reason I mine directly to Easel for ETH and Zillica, and R mode does not support the DAG caching at currently. They may add it in the future, but probably not if ETH is going to go the way of the dodo when it comes to proof of work at least. So, in that case, I still run A mode because it's just not worth it. it 5000 series, definitely a perfect form. 6000 series, not worth it at all. So, thank you Panda for at least giving me the idea to do this update video as well after your video came on out. I love your content, by the way. Thank you very much. Again, Yeti, thank you so much for sourcing a few more cards for me and for other YouTubers here in America. Come say hi to myself and everyone else over at Misfit Mining. I have my own channel down there. Link will be down in the video description. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next video.